Hello everyone. This is a course to learn the basics of C programming language. Today's chapter is input and output. Here's the contents of today's lecture. We are going to learn about console input and output and file input and output. Then, we are going to solve one example and wrap it up. Let's start with the console input and output. The printf function, scanf function, and puts function are standard input-output functions of C language. These standard I.O. functions use a temporary memory space called buffer. The fflush function empties the buffer associated with the stream passed as an argument. It is used to delete data remaining in the current input buffer. As shown in the example code below, f flush means to empty the input buffer of standard input streams such as keyboard. The getchar function is used to input one character. It is usually used to empty the enter key from the input buffer. In the example code below, the user inputs the string voluntain and the enter key. The scanf function gets the string voluntain and stores it into the variable str, and the getchar function gets the enter key. Next part is the file input and output. A file is a logical unit on a storage device that contains meaningful information and has a name. C treats these files as a set of consecutive bytes that can be read separately by bytes. Let's look at the order of I.O. operations for files. First is to create streams with files. Then, work using the pointer of the file structure variable. After working with it, close the streams with files. The fopen function is a function that opens a file. Opening a file means creating a stream for I.O. with the file. So, if you want to do some operations for files, you have to open the file first with the fopen function. You can use the fopen function by giving the two parameters. The first parameter is the di directory and the name of the file to open. And the second parameter is the mode of opening the file regarding your purpose of using the file. You can open the file with read mode, write mode, or append mode by giving the r character, w character, or a character to the second parameter. The fclose function is the function that closes the file. Closing the file means destroying the stream that you create for input and output to the file. In C language, after working with files, you must close the files using the fclose function. You can use the fclose function by giving the stream that you want to close as a parameter of the function. When the file is closed successfully, it will return 0, and otherwise, it will return end of file. Let's see with the example code. In line 7, we open the example.txt file with w plus o mode. In w plus mode, it opens the file in a readable and writable mode. If the file is not present, a new file will be created. And if it, is, it exists, all data in the file will be erased and the file will be opened. With the first if-else statement, the status of opening the file will be printed. And with the second if-else statement, the status of closing the file will be printed. As a result, 
we can see the file is opened and closed successfully. Among input output functions, functions whose name begin with f allow us to specify the input output stream directly by passing the pointer of the file structure variable as an argument io can proceed to a file as well as a standard io device this is an example code for using the fgetc function and fputc function after opening the text file named text read only is read only mode we check the status of opening it with if statement if it is opened successfully we read the text readable.txt file which contains the string hello valentine with while loop inside the while loop we print out the string which we read from the text file with fputc function. As a result, we can see the hello valentine printed out on the screen. Next is the code with fgets and fputs function. We will open two files each in read-only mode and write-only mode to read the contents and write those contents to the other file. Using while loop, we read the text read-only.txt file with fgets function and write the contents that is stored in variable str to the text write-only.txt file. And at the end of the file, we add this is end statement to the text write-only.txt file. When the program terminates, you can see that the content of the read-only file is copied to the write-only file. Last example code is about the fscanf function and fprintf function. With fscanf function, we can read strings and convert them to the format that we gave. For the string 123, 3.141592 Valentine. We can change just the string 1 to 3 to integer type and store it in the integer type variable. And similar to the fscanf function, fprintf function can also print out the various types of variables. When using fscanf function and fprintf function, we can designate the data type by format specifiers such as percent %d, percent %f, or percent %s. Lastly, let's practice with what we learned today. The goal is to write a code that transfer what you input in the console to the output.txt file. Since we have to store input to the file, first, we will open our output.txt file with fopen function in w plus mode. Then we will get user input with fgetc function by giving an input stream std in as a parameter to the function. While the input is not equal to the enter key, we store input value in the variable ch and write the content of it to the output.txt file with the fputc function. After all the contents are written to the file, we close the file with fclose function and the program terminates. This is the end of today's class of C programming language. Thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions, please leave comments.